Merry Christmas and welcome to our Christmas special. We are so glad that you are joining us today. We're going to be having some festive fun um, and you're going to be joining in with us, having some smiles and some laughs. And I say we because I am joined by Ellie and Kyle. Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. Are you yeah. both excited? It's Christmas I'm very time. excited, of course. I've got my very Christmassy jumper on. It says, have... Oh, hang on. Have a fantastic Christmas. Love it. Love with it. Some, with some whales <laughs> and, and how's Christmas going for you, Carl? Yeah, good. Well, it's not quite Christmas yet, but I'm, I'm looking forward to the break. Um, I'm going to go up to Granada with my family. We have a little house up there, so hopefully it snows as well, so we have a nice mm. little white Christmas. And yeah, I'm looking forward to the break. Yeah, you just could relaxing. Say it would be fantastic. Oh, fantastic. No. I could say that. Is that going to be won't. rolling? <laughs> the whole program. Apologies, <laughs> 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 But of course, we are, as I said, going to be having some festive fun. We have a quiz that we're going to be doing, which I'm excited about, and you guys are going to be able to join in as well. So that'll be fun. But of course, the reason for Christmas is we are celebrating the birth of baby Jesus coming to this mm -hmm. world. So we are going to have some Bible verses um, as well, just to remind us why we are celebrating and amongst all the fun. Because we've said before, we are sure that Jesus had a sense of humour he had fun and I think he'd be happy that we're celebrating Christmas and remembering him in a fun way. So just to begin, I think Carl, you have the first Bible verse, do you? Do I? Let's <laughs> see. So is the first one Luke, is that the one? Or? Yes, one verses 26 to 35. Okay. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you are, uh, you are who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled by his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive the birth to a son, and you will call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin? The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come to you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Amen, wow, it's incredible. How must Mary have felt? That must have been so scary, just there doing her everyday thing. All of a sudden this angel appears and goes, <laughs> you're gonna be pregnant. That must have been quite a scary thing. Massively, yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, can I go? Yeah. Yeah. I, I was just gonna say that um, we're doing the nativity at Encounter Church and I'm playing Mary and part of the play was we had to write a monologue of how we felt when all of this was happening. So actually this year more than most, I'm actually been really thinking about how Mary must have felt when all this was happening. And she must have been really excited because they've been waiting for this savior to come. But a lot of pressure that she's the one that's got to deliver and look after mm. this child and why her? She didn't feel very, like she's just a humble servant of God. Why would God choose her of all people on this earth? So a lot of confusion and excitement all at the same time. Yeah, I'm thinking about Joseph. He's like, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> 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 exactly, like, exactly. what are you talking about? Like, we haven't even been together and you're pregnant now. What are you talking about? An angel made you pregnant. What, what, what? Like, yeah. yeah. But yeah. then he yeah, obviously, the angel came to him as well and visited him, but yeah, it's funny. Yeah, yeah, of yeah definitely. I mean, I think it's a beautiful time of year, though, as we all say, you know, we can remember Jesus and we mm. can remember those, you know, that story that's told. And I think it's so beautiful because there's so, as you say, there's so many emotions that are in that story, but still emotions that we feel today. Mm, exactly. So yeah. that all that confusion and maybe that like excitement, but also you know, a lot of people still feel that today. And I think that's what's nice is because we can reflect on how God had a plan for their lives and he had a plan all along. And Jeremiah 29, 11 as well, your favorite verse, God has a plan for each of us. I don't think we've ever mentioned that, have we? No, never. Not never. once. No one knew that, did you? No. You didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, I thought we'd also start with some Christmas crackers because I'm sure many of you at home are going to be pulling Christmas crackers as well. <sighs> so there you go. It's one okay. for you. Ooh. You want to also pass I that thought you were going to pass. <laughs> I was going to pass them along first. <laughs> there we go. That's for you. And shall we pull that one? Do you want to pull that one? Yeah, Let's cool. pull that one. Ready? Ready? Yay, you won. I, well done. I have to be honest. I've been going to the gym for the past month just so I would win all the Christmas crackers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. right. Do you want to on. read us your joke? Oh, we've got gold, gold crown. I like that very much. Well, Did I'm you know, I never knew this, I learnt this the other day, that when it was small like that, that's children's sizes, and then when you pulled it out, it made it adult sizes. I didn't okay. know that. Oh, so, there we go. There we go, very nice, very, very nice. Very fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I love you for that. <laughs> right, I have a joke. 
Which dog always <laughs> Which dog always wins the race? Hmm. The one with the comfortable lead. Oh. Yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> these are going to be bad jokes because they're cracking Oh, and then this, they've got there. these things in them where you have to guess what I am. So it's okay, something and you have yeah, to yeah, guess yeah. it. Think. Isn't that a sticker? I think you're supposed to stick it on your head and then we have to try and tell yeah, you. But how what would that want. work? Because then I know what it is because I've stuck it on my head. But that's, well, maybe you stick it on someone else's head. Read it. Uh, do you want to <laughs> stick it on your head? No. <laughs> okay. Um, right, I'm just going to act it out. Okay. Um, Penguin. No. Uh, a shark. You eat me. And Turkey. I walk Turkey. No. Pig. I walk Chicken. No. <laughs> um, it's like a cake or a biscuit, and, and you put them in the oven. Brownie. Close. Muffins. No, not muffins. Oh, Christmas pudding. No. Oh. <laughs> I've got buttons. Snowman. Gingerbread man. Yeah. Oh, just snowman. <laughs> <laughs> Eat a snowman. Man. <laughs> <laughs> snowman, you put them in the I'm oven. I'm a gingerbread <laughs> man. There oh, we go. Okay, cute. okay. You guys want to pull your cracker? Hopefully oh. Cole will win so and get a hat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> You just you you grabbed it there. No, bit. I didn't. <laughs> She's cheating. No, no. <laughs> Alright, what do I have? What colours for hat? Are we all Ooh, putting our hats royal. on. Can we switch so I can have blue. No, mine's blue. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's supposed to be generous at Christmas time, girl. <laughs> Very nice. There we go. Okay, do I have one here? Let's read my joke. Okay. What do Santa's little helpers learn at school? Elfology. Close. How to elf people. Elfmatics. Elf people. The alphabet. Oh. Yeah. Very close though, very close. <laughs> okay. And then this one, what's this? Guess what I am. Can I say words or? I, I did. Well, yeah, any game is clear. Ho, 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 ho. Santa. Santa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was too easy. I'm not trying to make it hard. Wait, hang on. Oh, <laughs> I <laughs> just don't want Ellie to win for a third time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got orange, which is my least favourite colour. <laughs> it's Would Christmas you costume. like a yellow one? Yeah, do you want to switch? I think the orange one's cool. There you go, I like it. Would you like the orange and I'll have the blue? Yeah, cool. See, look at there this. There switches now. There we go. <laughs> All Very in nice. Blue. That's okay. Do you my know blue is actually my favourite colour? Why oh. wouldn't Santa ride his sleigh? Why wouldn't Santa ride his sleigh? Um. Because he was all slayed out? <laughs> no. Tell us, I don't know. For elf and safety concerns. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, <laughs> okay. What am I? Okay. Oh. Um, you put it on. Stocking? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's, nice. that's an easy one. Well done, guys. Well, that was fun. That was yeah, fun. That was fun. Well, of course, Christmas is a time for being together with friends and family. And it's also about helping the community. And Ellie, you arranged for us to be part of Samaritan's Purse for the shoeboxes, didn't you? Tell us we about that. We did. We had a beautiful time. We got loads of goodies for the children that are less fortunate than all of us. And we really did have a great time packing them and putting them all together. Um, it was such a beautiful time to be able to reflect that such little things meant so much to mm. other people. Um, mm. So yeah, and it was good good for us as well, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, it would be nice to see their faces when they open yeah. the boxes, yeah, yeah to see a nice. reaction. Yeah. I'm, know, sure I'm sure Samaritan's Dice will probably release some videos. Yeah, because there's a bunch of fun them. stuff in there, you know? Yeah. I wonder if they're gonna, one kid will get really good at the recorder. Yeah, we put some <laughs> recorders and some tambourines Become a professional in recorder. Yeah, make a little band out of them. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool. Well, you're, we're giving you a bit of a teaser of what we put in the boxes. Let's take a look. It's that time of year again, Christmas, and although we have so, so much to be grateful for in uh, sort of the rich Western world that we live in, we really do need to, um, to spare a thought actually, and also to spare a little bit of money to help the children in um, developing countries to actually experience Christmas in the way that our children experience that time of the year. Well, we've teamed up once again with Samaritan's Purse and we've put together quite a few shoe boxes. 
of uh, lovely, lovely gifts for children. And uh, these boxes are actually collected from our studios and they are sent around the world. And people all over the Western world are doing this at the same time. Uh, Revelation TV has been involved several times in what we call the shoe box appeal. And uh, we just really want to, of course, to say thank you to our viewers who, through the generosity of their finances, have been a part of this. So as we get together, pack these boxes, put lots of goodies in for children who probably would not have had any other Christmas presents and just imagine the delight on their faces. We just want to say a very, very big thank you to you, our viewers, really for enabling us to do this. So uh, as you wake up with your children, your grandchildren or whoever on Christmas morning and you open your presents, just think about what you have done to help children far less fortunate than our own children. Amen. Thank you, Leslie. And I think that's such a good point. We must remember that we must, um, we're very fortunate in the Western world that I'm sure we've got many presents over the Christmas period, but there's a lot of people in this world that just receiving a recorder or receiving some crowns will be absolutely so exciting and mm. crucial for them. And I think we need to, to remember that and be praying for them. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. It'd be just popped in my mind. Like, you know, you'd get a kid maybe from there, let's just say Africa and something and where these boxes are going and obviously they don't have much and then to see some kid complaining like mm. why oh, didn't they get the right color this or the right color that it's just you can see this has the contrast you know and the, and the gratefulness between you know and the level of happiness even yeah. you know i think people us in the western world we can you know always want more want more and we're not even satisfied we're not even happy when somewhere africa or south america or some you know more poverty country and they're just so grateful for just the little, yeah. littlest thing. And the great thing is as well, Samaritan's Purse actually um, obviously share the gospel as well. Mm -hmm. So when they do deliver these boxes, if there's an opportunity for them to do so, they do also share the gospel with the children, with Nativity Story and everything like that as well. So, you know, it's, it's a point as well for us to remember that the earthly things that we do at Christmas, you know, buying presents and stuff like that is, is actually a reflection. You know, what did the kings bring for, for Jesus? Well, you know, that is... We, we've, I think, gone a bit crazy with the present mm -hmm. thing. Now it's like, how much can you spend on someone? And we're losing that. It's pressure now. Yeah. So much it pressure. Is, it is pressure. Some people, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure even, let's say, for example, some fathers of a family, they're dreading Christmas yeah. because, oh, of pressure to get the kids this, they want this, I need to make it special for them, and maybe they lack finances and stuff like that. But I think that's kind of like the commercial side of it where they've pushed these things, all these holidays, you know, Valentine's and all this kind of stuff is kind of like... Well, we have the greatest gift this Christmas Amen. because we have each other. Yeah. Amen. Oh, I thought we were going to say Jesus, but yeah. Well, no, we have each other and we have Jesus and we, we have our family in Christ. We do. Well, talking about the nativity and the gospel, it's quiz time. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. So you have both got a whiteboard next to you, which you're going to be writing your answers on. Um, and basically, there's five questions all about the nativity. <laughs> you both are right. Yeah. Your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, about the nativity. And we are going to uh, ask the question and then I'm going to time you. You're going to have 10 seconds um, to give an answer. It's not long, is it? It's not long. Can we, we can't blurt it out, no. We just have to write no, it down. No, you just write it down and then we will ask what your answers <laughs> are. <laughs> and of course, we are going to have the questions on the screen so you at home can read along and play along as well. And we'll see how much you know about the nativity. Da -da, so, da -da, are you ready? Da -da, da -da. Oh. Okay, question number one. Which angel told Mary she would give birth to the Son of the Most High, I aka know. Jesus? Is it A, Michael, B, Gabriel, C, Raphael, or C, Lucifer? You said C twice. D, Lucifer. <laughs> <laughs> Time has started. A, Michael, B, Gabriel, C, Raphael, D, Lucifer. Okay, I'm going to give you 20 seconds because 10 seconds is a very short it's time. It's a very short time. You've got five seconds. Three, two, one, stop. <laughs> Okay, Kyle, you look pretty confident. You want to reveal your answer first? Gabriel? You meant to flip oh, the board B. out there. You go. <laughs> B, Gabriel, yes, you have it correct. I even Rather. drew an angel as well. I need a, I need a pen. I'm just you know my angel. Where? Let's see the angel. 
Oh, very pretty. Yes, and you both got it right. So that's one point for Kyle. It's meant to be the two one wins. Point for yeah, Ellie. I don't know what that is. <laughs> well, Let's okay, not insult the angels right. like Daly. All right. Okay, if rub out that answer, we'll go on to question number okay, my two. My drawing's not my strongest point, okay, but I try. You don't get points for drawing, I'm afraid. <laughs> okay, so question number two. Where was Joseph originally from? Hmm. Is it A, Capernaum, B, Jerusalem, C, Bethlehem, or D, Nazareth? Time has started. Mm. This might be a slightly trick question. Don't mouth it to me, I'm not going to give you the answer. <laughs> no, what do you I'm think thinking. at home? Is it A, Capernaum, B, Jerusalem, C, Bethlehem, or D, Nazareth? I think yeah, it's this, two seconds. but I actually don't know this. One, okay, and okay, so Ellie's gone for Nazareth, and Kyle's gone for Nazareth, and you're actually both wrong. Oh. That's why it's the trick question. It's Bethlehem. It's Bethlehem yeah, because they were having a census those. and they had to go back to their original hometown. Oh, no. So that's why they went to Bethlehem. Oh, I knew I was going to get you on that one. <laughs> so neither of you got that one right. Why, okay. Why is Nikki not partaking in this quiz? We should have had a, a mutual quiz. A, Obligator. Quiz master. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why I'm the quiz master. <laughs> okay, question number two, uh, three even. It is, what is a manger? Is it A, a feeding trough for animals? B, a carpenter's tool? C, a staff to guide sheep? Or D, an item of clothing? Can you reread the answer? What is a manger? Can you use a, it in a sentence? <laughs> a feeding trough for animals? B, a carpenter's tool? C, a staff to guide sheep, or D, an item of clothing? Hang on, you, you still got time oh. yet? You want to think about your answer? <laughs> Does that mean it's wrong? And stop. Okay, so Ellie, what one have you gone for? Oh. Wait, I'm just doing a drawing with it. Carl, you go first. Okay, you've got A, a feeding trough. That is, oh, hang on, I'm going to ask well, Ellie, what's yours? A. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> well, it's the feeding trough. Where's its towel? Oh. There you go, now it's complete. Let me see. Oh, man. <laughs> there you go, okay, so you're both drawing at the moment, okay? Oh, oh. So, we, what, what, what so we, we got it right, yeah? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. got okay, it right, cool, it was a feeding cool. trough for animals. Okay, uh, third question, fourth question, Ian. Who was the first people to visit Jesus? Is it A, the shepherds, B, the wise kings, C, Herod, or D, Elizabeth? Who were the first people to visit Jesus? The A, the shepherds, B, the wise kings, C, Herod, or D, Elizabeth? <laughs> Is this one hard for you, Kyle? You look no, I'm struggling. I'm just kind of torn between. Mm, interesting. OK, time is up. Ellie, what have you gone for? Kings. Kings. And you've gone for B, which is kings. You're both wrong. Yeah, shepherds, shepherds, isn't it? Shepherds. Yeah, shepherds. Yes, they were visited oh, by the angels, man. of course, and oh, they went man. and saw. Um, and I think that's actually during our nativity as well, where we were saying how humbling <laughs> it is. It's for the shepherds who were kind of seen as peasants back in the day, and they weren't obviously the wise kings or sort of or wise men. We don't actually know whether they're, they're magi. And obviously they were probably higher up in the community than the shepherds were, but the fact that Jesus came for everyone and the fact that the humble shepherds were the first people to be able to see Jesus, I think, is mm -hmm. a big impact on the story. Okay, we have one more, um, one more question, and it says, how many wise men were there? Is it A, one, B, three, C, five, or D, not specified? Okay, so you've got how many wise men were there? One, oh, man. three, five, or not specified? You have 10 more seconds. Yeah, but there's a song, isn't there? Three wise men. Yeah, that's the most like kind of common, known known one. But it could also be that not specified one. Okay, time <laughs> is up. What have you gone for, Carl? What have you gone I for? Think three. B, I've yeah. gone three. for three as well. You've gone three. Another trick question. Uh, yeah, yeah it's not it specified. Wasn't yeah. specified. Yeah. <laughs> I these questions. No, but if we're going by like stories and stuff, but yeah, I, I guess. think people think there was three because there was three gifts. Obviously, the gold, the frankincense, and the myrrh. So it, it's become sort of known that there was three wise men or three kings, yeah. but it's actually not specified in the gospel. Oh, oh I whisper it away. Which prophet foretold the birth of Jesus? There was two. There was Isaiah and Micah. Uh, pick one. Pick one. Micah. Wrong. Isaiah. 
But they both did. We did trick this question. on boys the other day. They both did. Well, it was a trick question. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys did well. You both got two out of five. And to be fair, some of them were quite difficult. They were quite trick questions. But we really hope you enjoyed the quiz and playing along. And we hope you will learn something about the nativity that you didn't know before. But you're going to learn some things about us now because I have my Christmas hat here. And inside are some questions about what we think about Christmas. So, Ellie, <laughs> do you want to pick a question? OK. Oh, where are Oh, there they are. Deep, deep. I feel like I'm doing a secret Santa. <laughs> what does it say? Do you want Carl to pick his first and then we can think about him? <laughs> oh, what was your worst Christmas present? Well, this kind of defeats the point what we were talking about <laughs> earlier. <laughs> I know my one. Um, what was my worst? Oh, you're going to have to go to Carl. I've got to think. I've, I've got one. So when I was a child, I really wanted um, a, a toy called Tickle Me Elmo, Elmo from Sesame Street. <laughs> and I really wanted it. I put it on my Christmas list and I got it for Christmas. But it was wrapped up and my brother touched it. So it started shaking, like it shakes when it gets tickled. And it scared me so much that I didn't want it anymore. So I didn't want it, it scared me. What's I'm not going to go for worst Christmas present because I don't, I don't think, um, I've not ever like had a Christmas present. I've been like, oh, I hate it. Um, but I think my worst Christmas was when we went skiing. We used to go skiing every year at Christmas. And um, on Christmas Eve, my brother actually had quite, a, we all had an accident on the slopes. One of the drag lifts collapsed on us. Um, and then basically my brother broke his arm and his bone came out and everything. Oh. Oh. And he spent the whole Christmas in hospital. And my dad and I were on our own. It wasn't quite the same because we weren't together. Yeah. I remember my Christmas present, I remember being disappointed was, I was probably like 11, and I got like some action figure doll, and I was like, dude, what am I doing this with this? Like, at the time I was into skateboarding and other things, you know, yeah. I was like, oh man, what's this? <laughs> well, we have one minute left, so let's quickly pick one more. Uh, hopefully this will be a more positive one. <laughs> we can quickly share <laughs> Okay, uh, what was your favourite food item for Christmas dinner? I'm going to kick this off with pigs and blankets. Oh, that's same. Mine's the same. Loves pigs and blankets. Turkey, gravy, all, or all, the, all the American or stuff. Or Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting hungry. Yeah. I wonder if you've had your Christmas dinner yet. What's your favourite one? I think we've got time for one more, one more, oh. one more, one more. Oh. Ah! 50 seconds. What is one of your Christmas traditions? Playing oh, games. Oh, man. One of my Christmas <laughs> traditions is throwing orange peel at each other and throwing wrapping paper at each other and my mum coming around with a, a black bag and picking it all up and putting it in. <laughs> throwing orange peel? I've yeah. never heard that one before. It's Sue, if you're watching, we're very sorry about that. We'll have words around. Come quickly, your Christmas... Family Christmas dinner. I can't think of one right now. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, we mm. just want to thank you so much for joining us on our Christmas special. We hope we brought a smile to your face. And before they go, I just want to say to you, have a very fantastic mm. Christmas. I apologise. Mm. <laughs> but yes, we do hope you have a very Merry Christmas and a very Happy fantastic New Year. One. God bless you. <laughs> fantastic one. God bless you and we just pray um, that you really feel the presence of Jesus as he comes into your life at this Christmas time and we remember the reason for the season. God bless you, Merry Christmas and we'll see you soon. Have a fantastic one.